Uh, we're going to see how everybody feels today at practice. We'll, we'll, we'll address that. I haven't seen a couple of the guys throw yet, so before I guarantee you anything, we'll, we'll take a look at uh, and see how everybody feels. What would go into decisions like that? Like, like say, just how they feel coming off this past weekend or matchups or what? In terms of the starting pitching, mm -hmm. well, I, I think the first thing is just to make sure everybody still feels good. I haven't seen uh, Ethan or Jacob in the bullpen yet. Uh, I'm assuming everybody feels fine and certainly uh, look at what we think the, the best thing is and most, what gives us the best chance to win. Speaking of pitchers, how are Riley and Tristan health wise? Riley is making progress and uh, we'll throw again today uh, through, I believe it was Sunday, did well. That was the first time on the, uh, on the mound in uh, two or three weeks. And Tristan uh, goes in for a procedure tomorrow. So I don't know the specifics of it yet. I will know it later today. Okay. Does, does that kind of put your bullpen in a tough spot, having two more arms out? Well, actually, Riley's coming back because he's going to throw That's again. Right. He's going right. to throw again today, and Tristan hasn't pitched for quite a while. Yeah. So I mean, he's he's been out of the mix, and we haven't been able to use that. So really, kind of just everything's kind of the same. We don't have any anybody any more setbacks or anything like that. I think we're actually going in the other direction. We're going the positive way. I think and getting those guys back. With Riley, is is there a goal in mind as to when he can come back? Well, no more today because today will be the second day of throwing. Well, the first time out, is, you know, a little precautionary. He cut loose, but uh, today will be a little bit more aggressive, and we'll see where he feels. He felt good playing catch yesterday after we got today's Wednesday. But uh, Monday was an off day. Felt good yesterday. So we'll, we'll let it go, you know, to his comfort level today. We'll see where it is. But I would certainly like to get him back soon, and he can help us. There's no doubt about that. Every weekend is obviously all important, but this weekend, considering where the standings are, how important is it to go over to Alabama and have success? As 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 important as it could be, and, and you're right. Every weekend we do this every year, and every weekend it's the same. And I understand the questions, but they're all important. Every one of them. You got 30 of them. Uh, sometimes there's a there's a different feel depending upon what week you're you're at and how you did the. The preceding uh, weekend, but uh, it's important. We got to go over. We got to play well. We got to win a series. Marshall had a tough time Sunday uh, behind the plate, but statistically speaking, he's been throwing runners out too. What do you think of him as a receiver? Well, I think what what you saw Sunday was fatigue, you know, and uh, he has absolutely been swinging the bat well, and that's why we did that, and that's why uh, you know we left him in for three games or started him for three games, I should say. Uh, and he produced offensively, but I thought he got a little bit tired behind the plate, and I think I think you saw the results of some fatigue. I mean, he's been throwing the ball extremely well, and then to have three balls that, you know, sailed on him there was, was really uncharacteristic, so we'd like to get that taken care of. Would you anticipate him starting all three again this weekend, or would you? you know, no, I would not. Back? I think we'll take it a day at a time, and we'll see what it is, and, uh, you know, maybe a smarter move moving forward would be to DH in one of those games and yeah. get Dustin back in there. Mm -hmm. you know. What do you see from Alabama? Well, they've got uh, some power in, uh, at the top. Uh, two experienced starting pitching. They've got some good left-handed bullpen. Really, overall, their bullpen's pretty strong. They've got a good, uh, uh, good core of left and right in the pin. Uh, experience at the front, like I mentioned, and a little bit of power. You know, I think you're going to have to deal with, uh, with, with Chandler Taylor effectively, that's for sure. Speaking of DH, uh, Josh Hatcher had struggled in over the month of April. What do you think? happen with him or I think well, well what I think happened with, with Josh is what happens to a lot of guys to get to about game 30 or 35 in that high school season experience mentality you know tells them that the body's about ready to be done with Bar I think I think he got tired I do and uh, I think you probably got a shot to see a little bit of a, an increase now that we're done with finals and get that behind us and uh, he's going to be a really good player but I but I agree he he showed a little bit of fatigue and so we, we need to get him back and playing well. With Barlow's situation, is there potential to see uh, Josh Moore on the mound? Well, now, Barlow hasn't pitched in quite a while, and we haven't used Josh only, but I mean, two or three times all year. So, I mean, I think there's always a potential, you know, depending upon what the situation is, but I would not anticipate that this weekend. You mentioned earlier in the year that freshmen tend to hit a wall around finals week. What are some of the 
things you're putting in place. Well, I think the sometimes they hit it be before that. Yeah. I do. I really. I believe that, and that's not a new phenomenon. I've seen that for for a long time, and, and I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think it's unusual. I think the body and the mind get uh, conditioned that you know you're playing a 30 or 35 game schedule, and and uh, about the time that uh, you know they feel like they might be done, uh, here comes some older SEC pitching to <laughs> to let you know that you're not done. So. Anyway, go ahead. Well, what are some of the things you're putting in motion to kind of help them through that with some pivotal series in the next few weeks? I don't know that you put a whole lot in motion. You keep practicing. Uh, you have as much dialogue, as much communication as you can. You stay as positive as you can. You keep, keep them uh, working on the things that they need to address to get better, and, and you hope that they get a shot of adrenaline and, and they bounce back. And I think you probably see it in all the sports, but you certainly see it in ours.